In this video, we'll walk you through three different EB Pro features, alarms, automated email alerts, and backing up data over email. In this sample project, we've got an alarm that's triggered with the toggle switch, an active alarm display, and an event history display. When this alarm is toggled, it will send an email out from the HMI. The indicator here tells us that there was some failure or error and we can check the system register shown here in order to debug this sort of issue. Now, if you want to send out emails from your advanced or smart HMI, do this from your system parameter settings first. Go into the email tab, click enable email function, fill out all of the SMTP settings here, check these settings with your email service provider or your IT department if you're not sure and double check things like the port number, the authentication, and the encrypted connection type, so SSL or TLS. Next you can define the sender information. You can customize this and choose from which email address messages will be sent. Below there is an error message section with a note that you can look in these system registers to debug any issues, failed step in error code are what these are called. And these are listed in the EB Pro manual. Next, define at least one recipient. You can see I have set one up here and one group. Emails are sent out to groups, so add at least one recipient to your group. Click OK when you're done. And next, we'll go ahead and test this. Click Test SMTP Settings. Choose which group to send the test message to and then click the test button here and we'll check in our email inbox to see if this was successful but EB Pro does tell us that it worked there we go there's our test message let's go take a look email message sent automatically while testing SMTP settings so if this works from here it should work from your HMI if you're in the same environment click exit when you're done here and then OK to save these settings Next, we'll look at the alarms. So from data history, go to event alarm log. We have one set up here. It's an emergency level. It's a bit alarm, saving to history. Local bit zero is the read address. For the message, we set alarm LB0 triggered. And from the email tab now, we can have it sent out when this event is triggered. Define the recipients from here and then choose how you want the subject message to appear for example you can use the default which would be whatever you put in the message tab you can also add opening and ending sections of the body of the email click OK when you're satisfied with this and you'll note in this window to the right there's an email column and it will show triggered now as for what will happen when that alarm goes on it will send an email now let's go look at the backup window here too that we have set up in this sample project. Here we have a button to backup all event logs. So any active alarms and any events historically can be backed up via email. You can send them in a CSV format if you like as we've set this up here. There's another indicator here to tell you if there was an issue backing up data via email. And you can also look at those system registers to debug any issues with sending that. Let's try an offline simulation and we'll show you how this works. First just triggering the alarm. So we trigger this, we see this indicator and event history and alarm displays show this and in our inbox we got the message so it says alarm local bit zero triggered and here is the body of our email. So that's working great. Let's turn this off. It's no longer active. We see that in the alarm and event displays. Now let's trigger it one more time and see if it shows up in our inbox here. There we go. We got that message. The alarm has been triggered again. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and turn this one off and take a look at the backup alarms and events window. So this is our event history, no active alarms. If you wanted to back this up, you can just click the button there 
and we'll check in our inbox in a second. Remember there is an indicator for this and failed step and error code registers that you can check if you don't get the email. Here we see this new message. It says please find alarm and event logs attached in CSV format and there is a historical event log date range as well. So that's it for our demo. That's all working great. Now let's talk about how you set up the backup object. This you would do from your data history tab and go to backup per page in order to set this up. Choose the file source. For example, historical event log will back up via email. Choose the format and a number of days worth of data to save and send. Next, in the email tab, you can add a txt extension to the file name to get around any email filtering. Define at least one group of recipients to receive this and set your email subject and body text sections as needed. Then you can add this to your window. Now, this was a touch trigger object, but you can also set up external bits and words to determine when the backup email is sent. So that's it for that. Now just to sum it up, first we set up email via system parameters. From the email tab, click to enable, filled out the SMTP settings, defined a recipient, click the test button, and create one alarm. This one we set up from the email tab to send when the event is triggered. When you do this, it will tell you to fill in recipients and define any email body text. That's it for automating email alerts. And similarly for backing up data, go to the data history tab, create a backup object, set the backup position to email, and from the email tab, determine who you want to send it to and how you want the email body and subject message to appear. There are a few other things that you can do with these features, ways that you can extend them and use them in different ways in your project. For example, you can have email sent out based on any alarm or event trigger. It doesn't always have to be reserved for emergencies. Also with your backup objects, you can back up your data sampling, your time series data from a PLC. You can back up recipe data in addition to alarms and events. If you'd like to explore these features more, I would encourage you to check out the sample projects on our website, maplesystems.com. Thanks for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.